Next week, me and the Saab are doing the four-baller driving event. It takes us from the Ace Cafe in London, up through Wales, up the west coast of Scotland, then across to Edinburgh. It's over four days and three nights. We're supposed to be camping to save costs. However, I don't really like tents, so I figured I've got a big enough car, why don't I put a bed in the back? Just a little disclaimer before we start, this isn't a professional conversion in any way. Like I say, I've got to stay in it for three nights, maybe a few more over summer. So there's going to be rough edges. It's just a laugh really for YouTube. So don't get in the comments and tell me to plumb the sink in because I don't need to. It's just a laugh. I'm not really planning this video, so this is a bit of a wing it and see job. But the first thing I had to consider was privacy. It's all very well and good me putting the seats down and throwing a sleeping bag in the back. But you'd be able to see me, a bit weird really, if I'm asleep. So I made some blinds. Now these are exquisitely crafted out of cardboard, which was an old fridge freezer box and some very cheap fabric. So these are obviously for these windows. And we're gonna try and demonstrate this in a way that makes it look easy because it should be easy because they're made to measure. <laughs> so that's there. There you go, look at that. <laughs> that actually worked, I'm amazed. <laughs> and now I've also got ones for the back windows. So two of those, hopefully this will go just as easily uh, go just as to plan. Now in theory this should slot in along there. Look at that. <laughs> it's gone really well, I'm amazed. So I've got another set of those for the other side. What about the back window? Well as I've said I've not planned this, um, I'll try and do it from here I guess. Let's have a look. Now my brother has expertly graffitied that to look sensible and Saab like because it's an old man's car and yeah why not. Um, this is a little bit more difficult from the outside. I'm hoping you can still see, see me. Um, and again, should just be a case of slotting it in. There we go. That is the blind solution for a Saab 95 camper conversion. I think that looks brilliant. <laughs> in true British camping style, it is now absolutely, well, chucking it down. Um, so I'm going to hide in the car for a minute. We have a curtain solution for the front as well, and it involves this piece of wood, which goes in the handles. And we then, well, hang on, it does go in the handle somehow. There we go. And we then use these closed pegs and attach this piece of fabric to it. And that is the curtain for the front. But I'm not gonna try and do that from here because that probably won't work. Um, yeah. Right, well they went in a bit easier than I thought, although they were made to measure, so it shouldn't really be a surprise. Um, took about as long as a pop-up tent perhaps, but I think it looks a load better, and camping in a car is just cool and does make a good YouTube video. Next up, I've got to lower them seats and try and get a bed in there, I guess. now a nice shag pile tiger effect so all that's left for me to do is get in so i'm going to get in the side i think because i've got my parcel shelf in here still there's a bit of a movable shelf which i think so i didn't design it for shelf purposes but it works so let's get in the side take my shoes off hopefully my shoes come off okay that's one that's two <laughs> now this is the first time i've tried to do this so bear with me let's uh, get in <laughs> Very elegant, as I'm sure you'll agree. Let me close the door. <laughs> and it's a soft camper fan. <laughs> I'm laughing because I didn't believe it'd work quite this well. So you've just elegantly seen me try and get in the back of here. But now I'm in. It's uh, actually quite comfortable. We've got a cushion under here. I didn't film that because I thought it'd be a bit pointless. So I've got cushion there, cushion there, single duvet, two pillows. And yeah, I've actually got an angle because it's not quite long enough for me otherwise. But here we are. I'm hoping you can see me. Got the, the mood lighting, we'll call this, shall we? 
Um, there's a couple of other bits in here to sort of improve the camping experience. So we've got water, wet wipes necessary, obviously. And I'm happy with this. I wasn't expecting it to work quite as well as it has. Um, so I'm going to get a couple more amenities out and see if my shelf solution actually works. Um, so thanks to this being the parcel shelf, I can now pull it closer to me, as you can see. And now, got my iPad, got a speaker. What more do I want? On my iPad, I can have some bedtime reading. This is kind of an advert, but it's kind of not because he's included me in his book. But the book I recommend you looking at today is Academic Driving. I'll put a link in the description. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy with this. Like I said, said at the start of the video, it's not really a serious camping solution, but actually, you know what? I might keep hold of these blinds and if I need to use it again in future. Um, I've been Blee. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. <laughs>